The new Leviathan 10th edition box set value is hot fire. Spiking bits. There is a ton of value in the new Warhammer 40k Leviathan starter box. Uh, here's the rumored price and the savings breakdown. So the box itself is comprised of 72 new minis and all the accessories. However, the real question is, well, you know, what kind of value are you going to get with this box? Uh, if you do want early access to the rulebook, at least the printed version, because we know the core rules will be a free download from Games Workshop uh, and the new minis, well, this is only the, the only way to do it, at least at first. So it does have some intrinsic value. Of course, uh, the rulebooks generally are released uh, for $60.00 separately when the new editions come out. One big thing to remember is that these models will all be easy to build or ETB, push fit, uh, which could affect the value. However, as we saw with the Indominus box, some models came out later with multi-part kits while others have remained easy to build to this day, like the Necron Warriors or the Space Marine Outrider bikes. And then, of course, over the next few years, Games Workshop will also make separate sprues available for purchase, like the $160 Honored of the Chapter kit, which is really just one sprue, or the $125 Necron Royal Court uh, pictured here. It, you know, it's funny because the box was only 200 bucks when it first came out, and this is one sprue out of the, the, that same box. <laughs> so, you know, again, it does have some value to pick this up on day one uh so here's the overall contents of the leviathan box uh, we'll break it down by faction starting with the space reigns captain of terminator armor forty dollars librarian and terminator armor forty dollars lieutenant with combi fr flamer forty dollars apothecary biologist forty dollars stern guard veterans sixty dollars inferno squad sixty dollars space marine terminator sixty five dollars uh, this one's interesting because it's based on the current Terminators, uh, but they're slightly bigger, so they could be more. Uh, Ballistus Dreadnought, $75. So total estimated value at comparable retail pricing is $420 just for the Marines uh, side of the box. There's actually a lot of new characters in the box, but if you split this with someone, it's, you know, some really good value. Uh, so let's check out the Tyranids, uh, the Screamer Killer, $60, the Neuro Tyrant, $60, Neuro Gaunts, $45, Winged Tyranid Prime, $45, Von Ryan's Leapers, $60, Termagants, $80 because there's two basically $40 box sets estimated in there. Uh, Barb Gaunt, $60, and Psychophage, $60. Total estimated value of this half of the box, $470. Um, and then once you figure in, you know, the, the rule book usually goes for about $60. Um, you know, you're looking at uh, at least 800 if not more, in value. Uh, you split it between two people, you're looking at at least $360 in value over the estimated price of the box at $230, which did leak. Um, and it seems like it is going to be $230 US. So the value is high, but is the Leviathan starter set worth it? So this being a new edition uh, starter, the two factions inside getting completely updated, um, the values might not be too far off. Now, of course, this stuff is going to sell probably for less on eBay as everybody gets these and breaks them open, assuming there's no stock issues, which we've been seeing with Games Workshop as of late. Uh, so all these miniatures will be ETB, so easy to build, uh, super, super easy to get together, great for, you know, beginners, so just something to think about. Um, and it will be a while before we see all of these releases separately. So either way, there's a ton of value for both sides. Uh, when so many models, we expect this box to sell just as well as, it, as the Indominus box did uh, once they got it sorted out uh, back in 2020. If you split this with someone, this will basically be the best value we've seen in a box since Indominus back in 2020, as you're going to get close to, you know, $500 in value for only 115 of just upfront cost. Uh, so for the latest in Warhammer 40k rumors and the re for the rest of 9th and even 10th edition, uh, new releases, rules, updates, and more, be sure to check out the site, spikybits.com.